Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Laura. So let me show you our art project today. It's a pair of mittens. I bet you guys have noticed that it's pretty cold outside these days and I thought this would be a great art project for us today. And so mittens, they're kind of like gloves, but they don't have all the holes for your fingers or the sections for your fingers. They just have a section for your thumb and that way you can still hold things when you wear mittens, but you can't like move all your fingers individually with the, um, like you do with gloves. But I also, I made them really colorful. And then I've got some really neat yarn. And if you guys um, have some colorful yarn at home, you can use that too. But I wanna show you how we also made a lot of our different types of lines that we have. I've got a zigzag line, and then I've got a wavy line, and then I've got a straight line, and then again, another zigzag and wavy line. And these are all kind of going horizontally. And then over here, I have the same types of lines, but they're going up and down, which is vertically. And so you can see the zigzag line and the wavy line and the straight line, and they're all going vertically and um, really colorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring my two mittens. You're gonna, you guys are gonna get a sheet like this and you wanna glue them to a background and it doesn't really matter what color background you use, but I decided not to use a marker the same color as my background and that way it can pop a little bit more. So I've got my markers here and I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring and you guys can color at home too. So I've got my zigzag line, starting with orange. And because I'm gonna cut these out after I'm all coloring, I don't have to be real precise inside the line. You can see that, you can see the zigzag really well. And then I'm gonna choose another color and now I'm gonna do a wavy line. And then color that in. One nice thing when you're coloring is if you kind of make an outline of what you're coloring, it kind of helps you stay in the lines a little bit better. All right, so I've got the, my next color with the wavy line in there. So I'm just gonna make a straight line this time, going horizontally. I'm gonna fill in my outline. another zigzag line. I'm going to use the color green. I'll show you how I outlined it again and that makes it a little bit easier to color it in.
then my last color that I haven't used yet is yellow. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the mitten with yellow. Here at school, I've been reading a story to the students called The Mitten by Jan Brett. And she is um, also the illustrator of the book. And it's about a Ukrainian boy that wants white mittens. And the grandmother's afraid he's gonna lose them. Okay, I've got one of them done. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And we're just gonna, for the sake of time this time, I'm only gonna color one but i want you guys at home y'all go ahead and do both of them okay i'm gonna go ahead and cut this out but it's funny the in the story so the grandmother is a little reluctant about making some white mittens because in the ukraine it snows a lot and the grandmother felt like if you have white mittens they're just gonna get lost in the snow. But the little boy was very persistent. And so the grandmother, which he calls Baba, which is what they call their grandmothers in the Ukraine, Baba. Um, Baba decided that she would go ahead and make him some white mittens. But she told him, when you go out, I'm gonna, <clears throat> when you come back in, I'm gonna make sure you're okay and everything. But the second thing I'm gonna do is to see if you have both of your mittens because she thought for sure that he was gonna end up losing one of them. So we got that all cut out and I'm gonna glue it to my blue paper. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one right in the center since I'm only doing one for the sake of time. So another cute part about the story is, so the little boy does end up losing one of his mittens, but all of these little animals come by and they see the mitten and they start going into the mitten to stay warm one by one. And the, by the end of the story, there's all these cute little woodland animals. And the last, or um, a, a bear ends up coming in and this glove is getting bigger and bigger, but because Baba did such a good job knitting it, it never broke apart or anything. So there's this big bear and all these other smaller animals. And then finally a little mouse comes in and he snuggles himself right on the bear's nose and it makes the bear sneeze, you and all the animals go flying out and the glove goes flying in the sky. And then the little boy, he sees his glove. He's like, oh my goodness, there's my glove. And so he's able to bring it home and show Baba that he didn't lose it after all. <laughs> so if y'all get a chance, y'all really need to look that book up and the illustrations are beautiful. It's called The Mitten by Jan Brett. So now that I've glued my mitten on, I've got this yarn that I was telling you about. It's all different colors, so I'm gonna trim it. Find my scissors. And I'm gonna add the color. I'm gonna put it on top of the color that I just colored. So like the green goes on the green, the orange goes on the orange, and this yarn that I have, the orange does not look really that orange. It looks more like a like a golden color, but it's still very pretty. And I have a lighter yellow. It's like a golden yellow, and then I have the lighter yellow. So I'm just going to cut these into smaller pieces. I'll show you my original samples. And it just kind of gives it some more texture. Makes you think of a mitten that's been knitted with yarn. So let me cut these up real quick and then we'll glue them down. I don't need as many as I would if I had two mittens. 
Let's cut a few. So there's my yellow. Here's my green. And let's see what color is next. Red. And purple. So whatever color your background paper is, you don't have to, but you can leave that off. And then you, um, then you can see all the other colors a little bit better. And I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Oh, and like orange. One, two. Okay. So let me just start gluing those on in all kind of directions. I'm going to go ahead and put all my glue down. Just making little lines everywhere. When you're gluing yarn, be sure to use the liquid glue because um, yarn is a little bit tricky to want to stick. So I have about five, maybe a couple of them have six, but I'll show you my glue. And then I'm going to play like a matching game where I'm going to match the color with the color yarn that's on my colored paper. So I've got my orange at the top. And now I'm going to find my purple or violet. Another word for purple. And then I got my red. And my green. Hmm. Let me put on more little green snippy. And last, my yellow. got a stray yellow. Let me get that out of there. There we go. I think that turned out pretty nice and colorful with the yarn that gives it some texture. I hope you guys enjoyed this art project. Let me show you my original one. Remember, you guys are going to do both of them, okay? Be sure to make them real colorful. And if you have yarn at home, you can add your yarn. All right, guys. Well, I can't wait to see you again. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.